Hi, it's Mary. I hope you're all doing well. You probably recognize me as one of the librarians at the Park Rapids Library. I am the young adult librarian, which means that in addition to choosing all the books that come in, I also get to plan and hold events. Yay! So, for this month I had planned some Explore STEM events, which I'm not able to do in person, but I thought it'd be fun to do some of them online. Today we're going to look at a building type called a geos geodesic dome. So let's get started with that. And we're going to use two materials. We're going to use toothpicks and we are going to use gumdrops. So when you're done with the project, if you want to eat your dome, you pretty much can. I'm going to pause it for a minute so I can get everything set up and then we'll get started. So because I am not a fan of creating messes on counters with sticky candy, I have laid down a piece of paper that we can work on. So to start off, we are going to build a pentagon with five of the gumdrops and five of the pieces of toothpick. So one, two, three. So let's go. <laughs> so we're just putting the toothpicks into the gumdrops, gumdrops. I'm trying not to eat the gumdrops. As anyone who knows me will tell you, I am a big fan of food. So, you want to try to keep your angles the same so that you're getting a symmetrical building instead of one that's all lopsided. I'm not going to promise that I'm going to be able to do that, but that's what we're trying to do. So, you should have a shape that looks like that. So the next thing we're going to do, actually I don't know why I'm getting the more gumdrops, because the next thing we're going to do is put two toothpicks into each gumdrop that we have there. And we just want them sticking up. That one I don't like the way it's looking. So I'm going to change it some. There we go. So there's two in that one, two in that one, two there, two there, and Two there. So what we're going to do at this point is place another gumdrop, five more gumdrops, and we're going to put it so we join those two together. And then we're going to join these two together. We will join these two together. I hope you can see this okay. We'll join these two together. And yes, we're going to join those two toothpicks together also. So let's just take a second and look at what we do have here. So, not sure how great you could see this, but we kind of really just have five triangles standing upwards. And you can probably guess what we're going to do next. We are going to put 
put in and make another pentagon there with by putting toothpicks in each of the gumdrops. So we're connecting them around. So basically we have the base of another pentagon. See, there is our five-sided pentagon. And what we're going to do now is take five more toothpicks and direct them upwards and toward the center. too happy with where it is so I'm gonna put that there and I'm gonna connect them all in the center with one more gumdrop. So now I'm gonna clear up those gumdrops, clear up those toothpicks, and let's take a look at what we have. So the, the building style we have constructed is called a geodesic dome. Cool thing about geodesic domes is that they can hold a lot of weight for their size. So just take a second and press down on your geodesic dome. How's that doing? Is it holding a lot of weight? What you could do at this point to take the exercise a little further than I have gone is you could weigh things and lay them on top and see how much weight it holds. I can set that box of gumdrops on top of there if it was more level and it's holding it. I don't know if you can see that. So it does hold a lot of weight. So the reason it does that is right basically because of the construction of it. So if you look at it, there are lots of little triangles in the construction. So the structure is made up of many different triangles. So when you press down on this one point, Instead of, like if I took one toothpick like that and pressed down on it, it's breaking some. I don't know if you can see that. Because it's one toothpick bearing all the weight. But here, when I press down, all that weight is distributed through the whole structure. So it's able to hold more weight than you would expect it to be able to. So what you can do if you want to also go a little further is try building with longer items. So you could take bamboo skewers, which are like long toothpicks and make them with that and see if, try to figure out if you think that would be stronger or if this structure is stronger with the little toothpicks. You could also try to figure out ways to make yours, your dome the way it is to reinforce it and make it stronger. So I hope you had fun with that little activity. And if you wanted to look up actual buildings that are geodesic domes, you could search that on any of the internet web browsers, search engines, that's it, any of the search engines and find out some buildings that are geodesic domes. Right off the top of my head, I know that the Epcot Center in Disney World is a geodesic dome. That's it for today. I hope you are 
enjoying the videos we're doing so far, trying out some of the activities. I hope that you have a really great day and we'll see you again soon.